We're here in Connecticut visiting my fellow treehouse builder, Roderick Romero, where he's about to show me his fantastic creation. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Roderick, it is gorgeous. You are such an artist. This just is magical. I just want to get across, but I can't. You've got a moat. Well, that's why we have a bridge. A moat? Are you kidding me? I mean, this is straight out of a fairy tale. And this is supposed to be like a little dragon serpent going, that's its spine. Oh, look at its spine. And then look that's the, the head of the dragon. The I hadn't done something that was so close to the ground, to be honest. <laughs> it's got to be the closest treehouse to the ground <laughs> in the world now. <laughs> but then you get this beautiful elevation above the brook, so you do feel like you're up in the trees. And you are connected to the trees, of course. Is that redwood? It's a lot of cedar, dug fir, cherry. I can't believe how cool this treehouse is. I mean, it looks like it's right out of some storybook. Let's go, I mean, this yeah. is too much. I got so much satisfaction um, out of seeing his reaction. Whoa, oh, what a cool place this is. Look at this. I would imagine this would be the place when you're trying to find that space to go to that you're calm again. Yeah. This would be, this would be it, right? Filtering here. out that mind noise, the brain right. noise. Right. And then opening yourself up to the nature, sounds and music. It's, yeah. it's, there's where you find peace. So, so peaceful. <laughs> jinx. J ah, double jinx. <laughs> Let's go. Please do. I've never seen a reading nook built into the middle of a bridge before. I mean, who thinks of that? Well, Roderick Romero does. I can't wait to see what other sort of creative things he's got waiting for us in the treehouse. Keep journeying up. <laughs> I love it. Look at this little arbor arch. I love yeah, this. Another little porthole, another doorway. Another doorway. And all these little details are just so <laughs> fun. Oh, ooh, 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 look at this. This is so organic. I mean, yeah, like a li growing. living wall with the vines growing up as if they're coming up the wall. The outside of this library has its own skin of bark. I mean, bark that's like teeming with life, ferns and lichens and moss. It looks untouched by human hand and is a great example of blurring the line between treehouse and nature. There's the prow, you yeah, know, like that. I see that in your work all the time. It's <laughs> so cool. God, look at this, man. I love it. And now this slides, it now appears, right? big barn door sliders. I love these windows. Look at those. They're beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted it to open all the way up like a shutter. <gasps> this is perfection. This is all you need. A little rocking chair, fireplace, desk, napping area. I knew what my intention was, and that was to make something that you felt just immediately comfortable in and, and welcome. But it was really rewarding to see Pete have that true experience of what I was hoping for. I'm obsessed with these colors now. I mean, look at those gorgeous lights. This is the hour they start coming on, you know? Now as the sun starts to dip into the afternoon, into the early evening, they'll come on one at a time, like that green is firing off. So yeah, it's now casting into the branches and will fill the whole room like a chamber of light. This treehouse is straight out of a dream. I mean, the way he's got these little blocks of colored light up there in, in place of windows, it's, it's like it's nature's kaleidoscope. 